Hello everyone, it's Dr. Lena Rodriguez coming to you from the beautiful island of Skopelos. So to get the view, you will have a bit of background noise, mainly mopeds. And here I am in the cheapest hotel in Europe. And yeah, the rooms are not beautiful, but it's $30 a night and you get this view. Ah, yeah. So today I'm devoting myself to your questions. And so we're going to work through them. So um, one of the questions was about Rick Scott, Florida, one of the, you know, dreadful fetid creatures that inhabits Florida. And he produced this new draft policy um, saying nearly half of Americans don't pay tax. So more Americans have to pay tax to have skin in the game. He's not looking at that. The reason so many of them cannot pay tax is because they don't earn enough to pay tax, which should be an international scandal. You can make the 1% who should pay tax pay it, but no. So let's have a little look at Rick Scott's new proposition for lowering the threshold, making more people on very, very low incomes pay tax. What's going to happen with that bill? Here we go, Rick Scott. Where did they dream up these awful ideas? Okay. The challenge. Okay, so our central card here is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about, this is where I need a six foot arm, but never mind. The goat on top of the hill. So people are working very hard for not much money. And he's milking that idea, that idea of well, if you're working, you should pay tax. Well, if you're employing people, you should pay them a living wage, but that's me. So, okay, this is at the center of the issue. The challenge, the magician, who is going to accept this power grab? Will more Republicans support this? I don't think so, not in an election year. So, because this is a big card, it's a major arcana card, I think this is going to not get up now, but beware, heaven forbid, should they get in, it will be back on the table. Back on the table. So but the root of the issue, the Four of Swords says to me, the idea is in retreat. You don't have to worry about it now what is over the issue, the beautiful card of temperance and justice. So as far as I'm concerned, not now, but the goat is about endurance. And this is about negative magic as well as positive magic being used in the future. Now, another question has been about Lindsay Graham talk about playing both sides off against the middle Lindsay Graham like so who another audio has emerged of him running down Trump so how will this pan out the new audio leak of Lindsay Graham running down Trump and actually on the same audio saying Biden is the best man at this time. Interesting. So will there be any fallout? Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham. He's a funny guy. Oh, I pulled two cards out simultaneously. Oh, the fighting wolves. Okay, now, the 
this might have a bit more mileage than I originally thought when I saw this story myself. I went, ah, oh, more of the same. But when a couple of viewers requested it, um, I decided to look, what do the cards say? The Seven of Wands. This is some serious fighting. There's two sevens here. The other seven is the theft. Okay. You could say theft of integrity or theft of the audio or theft of something. But the juicy card in the middle is this Seven of Wands. He's going to have to defend himself against this. Now look at this Five of Cups, loss and regret. Who's loss and regret? Look, Lindsay's shallow enough that he's probably a bit sorry for himself, but I don't think so. When I picked up this card, my vibe was the Yeti himself. I think this fighting will be between Trump and Graham. So we'll see what happens there. But underneath Lindsay, the Three of Pentacles, waiting for his ship to come in. It's like, in a way, Lindsey Graham is old school, not likely to ever resign. No scandal's going to push him off the comfortable seat. But he's expecting this flack from you-know-who. So he's expecting dramas to ensue. But check this out. The Two of Pentacles in this deck. This is the lion swallowing the eagle. So who's the lion and who's the eagle? I'll let you decide what you think. I think this is going to have a major impact on finally on the relationship between Trump and Graham. You know, he came out right at the beginning in the golden escalator thing, you know, when Trump came down the escalator and all of that and thought he was terrible. And then he sucked up to him after the famous golf game. And then after um, January 6, he went on drunk as a skunk, allegedly, allegedly. We're just saying. So that's it. No more. And then he flip-flopped again. So hmm, please write to me and let me know who you think is the lion in this case and who you think is the eagle. Okay. So we've got the baby formula drama. Now, apparently there's a lack of baby formula and that's due to two things. One is um, gaps in the supply chain and the other is um, the main manufacturer in the US, Abbott's or somebody. They had to recall huge amounts of baby formula. Now, the Republicans have gone forth and said, see, under Biden, you can't even feed your babies. Now, the Dems have to kick back over this. They have to spit it back. These are the people who stopped the child tax credit, stopped the kids' lunches, you know, like just dreadful. So what's going to happen? So... What's going to happen with the baby formula? Five of cups again. Five of wands. I think this is going to be a difficult one for Biden. I do, he, he gets the card of regret and loss. But there is the King of Swords. I think the Republicans are going to go ahead and hit him over the head with this. He's got to be ready. I think for him, right, the Five of Wands here is conflict. I think behind the scenes, the Dems yet again aren't sure how to proceed behind the scenes. They need to get a woman out there. They need to get a woman out there with their messaging 
about what they're going to do about it very quickly. It's really important they do this. A woman has to step forward and speak and Biden to a certain extent has to be protected from it. So it needs to be his industry person or whatever. Someone else has to take the tension, take the drama, do the speaking and a woman as the spokesperson going forward. Okay, now in the good news column, in the UK, they're having their sort of interim elections, a bit like the midterms. It's not the big one, but they're really important elections. And the Conservatives, Boris Johnson, Yeti too, the Conservatives have taken an absolute hammering. They have lost hundreds of seats. And this is good news because there tends to be global patterns in this stuff. So I just wanted to report that to you. Now, you were also asking about, I, I did some of the Mark Esper stuff in the last video. He was chief of staff for five minutes, didn't tell the American people what was going on and now has written it all in the book. That included Trump wanting to bomb Mexico, as you'll remember. And apparently, the Yeti also asked aides if China has a hurricane gun. Are they shooting hurricanes? I mean, Yeti stayed as chief of staff. So I'm just going to quickly ask here Mark Esper's book. Will any of this filter into the echo chambers of MAGA people or not? Yeah. Will any of his revelations work? King of Staffs, he was the Chief of Staff. How funny is that? Age of Pentacles, keep hanging away. That stuff. Mm. Okay. Here's that card, adult viewers only, very quickly, the lovers. So that's an agreement. Someone's going to use the material he offered and use it differently. We have here the King of Wands. He has the ability, even though he's a relative nobody, to light a fire under some people. We've got here the Eight of Pentacles. This is the apprentice working on the details. That, oh, I'm just hearing the Hispanic vote. It might be possible that extracts from his book on key points like wanting to bomb Mexico, like wanting to shoot the BLM protesters. If those particular extracts can be pulled out, because as we know, by and large, people don't read books anymore. So it has to be a soundbite and maybe a few of them with this eight. So it might be used to galvanize some African-American voters who were beginning to think, why do we always support the Dems and they do nothing, who need more impetus to get out to vote in the midterms? It might be the Hispanic vote. Bombing Mexico is a pretty big thing. The Knight of Staffs, I think this is somebody who can play that role, the right person in those communities can actually convey the message here. There's an opportunity here with this book that's not just waiting for individual people to read the book. Do you see what I mean? Bits of it are really, really important. Okay. Now, of course, many of you wrote in about Roe versus Wade from his and you know my opinion on this. But also I think 
for the Dems, don't speak about abortion, talk about forced childbirth. That these people are in favour of forced childbirth. Make it another conversation because there are many people who may not be comfortable with abortion, but they're also not comfortable with the idea of a 13 or 14 year old having to have her rapist baby. False childbirth is the way. Thank you. Moving right along. Now, um, oh, in the column of less news, more gossip. Personally, I'm not that interested in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. I think they're both damaged. It's not looking good for her, though. You'd have to say she's looking the more delirious of the two of them. But we'll just dip into that. Um, but before I do, I wanted to look at the... Um, what's happening oh yes about a viewer pointed out which i think is really important that the public bailed out the corporations in 2008 you remember that same happened in australia same happened in the uk so is there any mileage here in getting that point across to people the public pay for corporations. Now it's time for corporations to return the favour and not price gouge. As the price of everything goes up, it's a good time to make this point. So it shouldn't all be about maximising profit. They'll still make a profit no matter what. But is there any mileage in that idea that the public bailed out the corporations? to try and offset, you know, this rising cost of living. Can that be used? Is it an effective tool? Is it an effective tool? Let's do a four-carder on this. Lady of coins, yeah. Household budget here. Oh, the nine of wands and the five and the moon card. All right, I think <laughs> we could say in a way, this is like the Katie Porter of the thing. We all love her dearly, but this is women balancing the budget. To answer the question with this card, the nine of wands or the nine of fire, Unfortunately, I don't really think so. People aren't good at joining the dots and putting stories together. But it doesn't hurt for it to be out there. Here's the fool, which is a new beginning. So it's the beginning of people understanding where the complications in their household budget is coming from. The moon does obscure things. So it's not easy to make that connection. So in answer to the viewer's question, I'd say no, but I wouldn't rule out lighting a fire under people in a positive way. In other words, and to me, this is really important. If I go to the grocery store and everything costs a little bit more and I'm angry about that, do I blame the Democrats because whoever's in power gets to wear it? Or do I start to resent the fact that Walmart and everyone else is making more profit off me suffering? You know what I mean? Perhaps there's a window there. I really, really hope so. No. Here we go. We're going to have a quick look. I'm not even interested in who wins this case per se. Might not even get to the end, you know. They might settle, but let's just 
get a vibe because they're having a week off apparently from the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case and then she gets cross-examined. Let's just look at the energies. Let's look at the energies. Hmm. A lot of ones here. Them fighting. Absolutely fighting. In the center is heartbreak. I don't think for each other. I think they each come from damaged environments. So you're dealing with damaged hearts before they even met each other. It's like they brought, brought out the worst in each other with this Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is all the fighting. The Ten of Wands fighting. Who was going to be top dog or top eagle? Fighting, fighting, fighting. Ego, ego, ego. Um, I think you'd have to say from here, the Seven of Pentacles, this is clouding about money. I think he's asking 50 million in compensation, but he'd give up that 50 million in a heartbeat. And I don't know if he's going to donate it to charity or what is he going to do if he wins. I don't know if she's got 50 million to give him. I don't know if she's getting any more roles. I really don't know. But with this, it's very cloudy about the moment. They're, they're two damaged people and to a certain extent confused. He's been fortunate because he doesn't have a record of domestic violence and the past girlfriends are lining up to support him. And usually by the time you get to his age and stage, there's a pattern. And in this case, there isn't. So this to me is talking about the testimony that might be Winona Ryder or Kate Moss or whoever was there. I can't remember. It's only when I go to the dentist I see any of these things. So I think he'll be all right, regardless of the outcome. Not so sure about her. So we'll just finish today. I'm in my Ukrainian colours. Um, I don't think this conflict, as I've said, is going to be resolved quickly. Ukraine will prevail, I have no doubt about that, but it's going to be ugly in the meantime. What I want to see is, is there a shift in Russian public opinion? Is there a shift here? Is there a shift? there a shift of those old, older Russians in particular. Queen of Cups, very emotional issue. Oh, the truth comes out. Let's see. All right, what I think here is going on, Mother Russia and all of that, but it's starting to get more emotional for the Russians here, the truth does prevail and it's being nurtured. So whereas young people already have access to independent media and stuff, the older ones, the drips of truth are beginning to come through here. This is the 10, the 10 of wands here. This is the culmination. I think, I think there's a bit, it'll be a bit of a shock for older Russians. Not only that they were suddenly in a war, but they were lied to and they were told it was really about something else. They were being asked in basically by the Ukraine and all that rubbish. They're going to resent military spending. I'm just hearing military, military. 
And there's nothing like an actual military defeat to focus on the emotional repercussions of a war. So blessings, blessings to Ukraine. Now, the last mini question before I go is on guns. So, gun control, is there anything? I don't think it's going to be an election topic per se but I have been asked, so I will read. What's going to happen with the gun debate? Let's put it that way. Is the gun debate going to be back on the table or not, or will it figure at all? The gun, the gun debate. Nowhere else in the world understands why this is tolerated. What's going to happen with the gun debate? The hermit. Queen of staffs. No, the hermit, it's a non-starter. It'll be purring on the back burner, of course. After the midterms, it might come out for 2024. So at the moment, I'll just do this for YouTube. <laughs> at the moment, the Republicans in particular are still in bed with the arms manufacturers and so forth. Not as much as they used to be because the NRA has been found to be a corrupt organisation and all that. But this is, to me, America's love affair with guns on either side of the aisle. So this is symbolic, like the Hippocratic Oath that doctors take, may none be harmed. So I think unless there's another macro shooting that might catapult it to the front, Queen of Staff, Queen of Wands. This is never far from the minds of women. So there's a real gender divide. So even though you have Lauren Bobert who started, what was it, the Shooters Cafe or something where all the staff were openly armed. Hilarious, great theme. So we all know there's gun-toting women. However, the Queen of Wands is a more sensible queen. I think the Dems will probably leave it alone, certainly between now and the midterms. But ironically, it could be a much bigger issue in 2024. I think it might come back onto the table. Well, guys, I will see you next time. I've still got another two weeks in Europe, so you'll get other videos from here. So love you heaps. So bye for now. And you guys take care. Keep those comments coming. Bye, guys.